until we now have reached this point in, at the end of Kali Yuga where, where we have such a dumbed down population that people cannot even recognize what is going on. There's a mass die-off, there's genocide happening, there are yeah. incredible things, but most people are in denial of them because they, they can't handle the truth. You see, that's the main thing of the ego. It prefers ignorance to knowledge. Mm -hmm. and, and so uh, we're at a time when very few people are willing to know everything that we need to know in order to change the situation for the better. So we're at the, at the end of that period where almost all, even egos, let, let alone souls, are exhausted. And, and they, they have no more creativity. Which is why you see there's a death of culture. There's very little music, drama, uh, any of the arts, they, they have all fallen. Even the cinema, the last art, is now mostly very trashy yes. kind of uh, material. And, uh, and there's uh, a loss of all moral values, uh, all of the traditional uh, ways that society was able to sustain itself with divine masculine and feminine energies that are all lost now in transgenderism and all of that. And, and so people are so confused and they have no more values and they, they feel so cynical uh, and so depressed. And so nihilistic mm -hmm. uh, that there is, they are actually captured by what we call the lower death drive, which is a drive in the ego that wants to die. When it can't handle uh, life and, and, and sustain its happiness, which it no longer can, even with drugs or whatever else they, they want, they, they want to get out. And so there's a massive epidemic of suicide in the world today. I don't know if you're aware. Yeah. Rising. Yes, and and violence mm -hmm. and and every other kind of perversion and of uh, antisocial behavior, and the world is now run by psychopaths, mm -hmm. uh, and they are creating ever more monstrous tyrannies, dictatorships, and uh, bringing about global destruction, mm -hmm. which we can see before our eyes. Yes. So that's what the end of Kali Yuga <laughs> is. But the blessing is this. At the end, because it is so terrible, people are beginning to awaken, mm -hmm. which they wouldn't otherwise. They would just go into their, you know, virtual realities and become happy slaves, you know, yeah. of the system. But they, they're not even able to do that. So there is a massive awakening. That divine intelligence that is responsible for all of this is also more and more visible, more perceptible by those who turn to God or Brahman or the Buddha mind, however you want to refer to that ultimate reality. It's more accessible now. So this is a moment when we are going to see wonders of a very miraculous and beautiful kind along with the worst horrors. Right. And, and, and it's a paradox.